Hello everybody. It's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. Okay. So we're going to use the Choose Happy stamp set and I'm pairing it with Full of Life Designer Series paper, some basic white cardstock, Azure Blue cardstock, and then I'm using Real Red um, and Granny Apple Green and Pumpkin Pie blends and we are doing apples. And then I kind of made myself a half circle because we're going to make like a little bit of a, um, a half like rainbow shaped um, fun fold card. Um, at a, where, where the fun fold is, it's got an arch. So I wanted like a template to go for it. So we're going to go ahead and color our um, apple. I went ahead and did some here. I believe we're going to need 10 for this project. So I'm using pumpkin pie for the stem. And then I like to go in with my dark color first and then blend it with my light. And then we're using granny apple green for the stem. And like I said, real red for, for the apple. And then we just got to fussy cut them out. That's why I went ahead and did all the rest so that it was quicker for you. Okay. So let's go ahead and fussy cut that little guy out. And then we can make our arch so that it can sit in glue while we um, make the rest of our card. Okay. How's everybody's Monday going? Mine is going great. I didn't want to get up this morning, of course, but once I was up, I'm good to go. Okay. So there's our um, apples and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start laying them out in this shape and then we're going to glue them behind each other so they stay together. But I thought this was kind of a fun back to school card. Perfect. I wanted one extra, so I think I did good. Okay, so let's go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add glue just to the corners of my apple and then tuck them behind. And I'm just going to add glue. If I go rogue without this template, like the... Um, the shape of the rainbow there, I know that it will not look anything like an arch. So if you have kiddos, did your kids go back to school yet or not yet? Our schools started, well, we've had, I, I'm, I'm in between two school districts. So in El Dorado County, we started about two weeks ago. And then Amador, they started um, Ooh, I kind of got those all close together. Hold on. See, this is why I'm saying. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to switch up and put it kind of towards the top to drop it down. I'm going to do that here too. And then, um, anyway, and then our other school district started last week. I 
I guess I won't have one left over. That's okay. I'd rather have the cute little arch than one left over. Perfect. Okay, so there's our arch of apples. And I'm just going to set that aside there. Then I'm going to come in and I want to, because I'm going to cut out a sentiment, I want to do um, hello. And I'm going to do, uh, well, I'm going to actually do, oh, hello, like that. So, uh-oh, this one you don't want to lose. So I'm going to do O, just like that. And then, hello. Just like that and then we're done oh no you know what I do want to I'm gonna do one more stamp but I, I'm gonna have to cut my paper first so I want to make sure I do it in a certain location but while we're done with this I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this down with my paper snips We have our oh hello. Just like that. Okay. Then let's go ahead and cut our pieces. Okay. So I've got my paper trimmer here. And we're going to cut our Azure Blue cardstock in half on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter. Okay. And then I'm also going to score it on the 11 inch side at five and a half. Then I want to cut another piece of the Azure Blue that is, let's see here. Um, well, let's, let's just score and I'll tell you where we're going to cut it off at. Okay. I want to score at three quarters of an inch at one and three quarters of an inch at three quarters of an inch and at four and a quarter inches we're gonna cut it off like that. So then we're gonna fold this up. Okay, that's gonna be where our fun fold is. And let's see here. Okay, so I want, I didn't need your one and three eighths. Okay, so I wanna cut a piece of this that is four and an eighth by one and three eighths. I'm gonna use the orange side, sorry. I, wanna, I had to think about that for a minute. And then I want this piece to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I want another piece that is four and an eighth by five and three eighths for the inside. Okay, so there's those pieces. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. and our paper trimmer out of the way. Okay, 
So how this is going to go, we're going to put our basic white piece in the middle here. And the inside for our message. Then I want to stamp an apple really quick. I'm going to do it right here on this green one. Okay. Then you have your green apple. Then we need to glue You know what I was I needed to do hold on I cut it a tiny bit too short just a tiny bit hold on here I'm gonna cut another piece and I'm going to score it at three quarters of an inch and then I'm gonna cut it at one and three quarters because I needed another little piece to attach to the card. So I'll tell you the dimensions here in just a minute. Let's get this glued together. Okay, so your total piece is going to be four and a quarter by five inches. And then this is going to get glued down right here. And then we're going to glue this to our card base. Just like this. I thought this was fun paper because to me, sometimes back to school signifies... Um, rainbow colors and such. Okay. So, I'm going to glue the bottom piece down to the bottom of my card. Okay. And then we're going to glue that piece down like that, down like that. So then it folds up into our A2 card, okay? And then we're going to put our rainbow down of apples. And I'm going to put glue on both of those end apples and I'm putting it all the way down okay and then I'm gonna add my sentiment whoops just like that oh hello and then that's our fun fold card. And then it folds flat to go into our A2 size envelope. Pretty cute, huh? Super easy and it kind of packs a wow. I might, you know, it might need some ribbon. Let's see. I don't know if I have any ribbon that matches this though. Hmm. I feel like it needs ribbon. 
You know what, I do have retired real red ribbon that we can add. I just feel like it needs something up here. So we're gonna go ahead and add it. There we go, I think that looks a little bit better. So my vision did come to life, and like I said, I think it's a cute back-to-school card that you could give to a teacher or your kid and leave for the first day of school. So thanks for joining me today, my friends, and until next time, my creative peeps, I will see you later. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye-bye.